Hello, everybody! I am Solario, your favorite interdimensional tra tavern keep. The food is hot, the drinks are cold. What are you be having? <laughs> hello, Gore. Hello, everyone! On this lovely Tuesday, um, evening, evening! <laughs> I think I'm going to start incorporating that uh, to remind myself what day of the week it is. <laughs> um, yeah, so fun fact, uh, I don't usually stream Tuesdays, <laughs> um, but uh, circumstances have changed a little bit and we'll get into that uh, definitely later in the stream. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be streaming a bit more often now. <laughs> Could we get back to Solario on the five stream grind? It's more likely than you think. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to be updating and changing my schedule uh, because of these changes. Uh, so it's probably not going to be three days in a row or four days in a row. It's probably going to be like days spread out until I, you know, fix the situation I've currently put myself in. <laughs> By the way, why are we booty dancing on this cat? Why, why are we booty dancing on the Echo cat uh, there, Gore? I don't know if Echo would appreciate it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, ex expect more streams and expect streams to be a little bit more spread out. Uh, because my schedule has been blown the fuck open. So that, all, that, that means a lot of things are going to be changing around the channel. Um, but for today, for now, uh, a little bit of a different game to add to our repertoire. Is that even how you say it if you're trying to say it fancy? Repertoire? Rep reptar? <laughs> repertoire? How, how the fuck do you say that? I don't know. I, I am just dog boy. My brain doesn't work all the time. <laughs> but uh, we will be playing a little bit of a different game if you can see uh, the game and the title uh, you will see that we are going to be playing some Disney Dreamlight Valley now I heard about this going on uh, Game Pass and I was kind of interested in it because uh, it was basically pitched to me as imagine if Disney made a Stardew game and I got fucking obsessed with Stardew uh, so I kind of want the same experience out of this game so shall we get started I think we shall let's move on over to the bar <laughs> Yada! Oh wait, the ga there's the game capture. I have things for reasons. Okay, uh, I plan to do a different game today, so I set that up so that uh, I wasn't just behind a black screen. <laughs> uh, but I decided to change my mind and go this way. Uh, that might that game might be coming later this week. <laughs> Like the game capture didn't work immediately because I had to actually close out of the game because I somehow pressed uh, new game accidentally. Uh, the, these things happen. The, these things happen. Okay, let's... Uh, let's unplug and replug the controller in so that we can get that working. There we go. Yes, I want to play this on controller. Yeah. Don't laugh at me. It it was for reasons. Uh, this the game I was going to play today uh, is a Pokemon fan game uh, that I'm probably going to play later this week called A Gym of My Own, uh, where you get to play as a gym leader. The problem is the aspect ratio was in like four by three in an absolutely tiny window, and there wasn't an option to stretch it to screen. So I basically stretched it out in OBS, but there was a, you know, black void where my model would be, and I didn't want that, so I put it back around. But then we decided to do Dreamlight Valley because, you know, it, it's fucking Disney Stardew, and I have a day off, and, you know, yesterday was very stressful. 
So I wanted to, you know, live out my Disney dreams. By the way, if you're wondering if I got into the content, uh, when I accidentally pressed new game, no, I literally just got to the character select screen, panicked, and then, oh, I haven't heard this actually. As a Disney princess, a fucking course, Gore. I want to be fucking pretty. <laughs> and then the Fire Nation attacked. The forgetting said it. Oh no! Not the capitalist! Yay! Ursula's top waifu agreed. It's the voice. It's the voice, 100%. For unfortunate souls. Such a shame. Such a bad. I've got magic, I've got the. <laughs> Just poor unfortunate souls. Till the rest of your days. By the way, yeah, this is gonna become a karaoke streaming quickly. Hi, Lindsay! Hi, hi! We're playing some uh, Disney Stardew. <laughs> we're playing some Disney Dreamlight Valley today, and uh, we're gonna get into why I'm streaming on a Tuesday. Ah, a dream come true. Yes, give me my book, nerd wife. Give me book, nerd wife. Yes, I want to reset all my progress, even though I only got to the character select stream. All right, let us make our character. Um, let's see. You can edit this avatar in the next step, so it doesn't truly matter which one I pick. But this looks like my kind of guy. She may be based off of drag queens, but that but that is not her form. Still find sexy due to her power. That is also true. Okay, let us customize all aspects. Oh, we get to choose the low lights and the high. Yo, this game goes into it, into it. Okay, so we're going to go with what dog boy's kind of rocking now which is kind of the actually should we go a little bit yeah a little bit more like that uh color do we want to put facial hair on this boy i'm known for being clean shaven in this form oh let's also uh get rid of ferg there uh ferg you have to be banished back to the shadow realm <laughs> no no okay okay gore uh, you, you've seen my face, uh, before, I believe. If we were going for IRL Sally, which I'm going to reset in a second, it would be closer to this. Uh... That's not dark enough. Yo. If, if we're going for IRL Sally, that is IRL Sally. <laughs> yeah, and the quarantine beard. I Okay, I had quarantine beard far before quarantine. <laughs> Yeah, let's deselect these options. I'm known for be being pretty clean shaven. Uh, so we're going to stick with that. We'll be able to change our hair uh, type. I believe in a different menu. Yeah, hairstyles there. Okay, so let's do the eyes. I have a pretty striking eye color, so let's definitely do that. Yeah, the thing is, I had the beard before quarantine. I think I started growing it out in like... Ooh, 2017, 2018 was a shut in before the mainstream. Damn you. <laughs> I was abandoned in my home far before. <laughs> no. Uh, no, that that was not uh, the case. So what it actually was. Uh, oh, should I have a little eyeshadow? A, a little like. You know, just a little natural blush. To my eyes there we go just a little accenting uh color 
And we gotta get the lower lip as well. There we go. Now we gotta we gotta do it like that. You were born in it, raised by it, learned to control and dominate it. I was sorry, sorry, I gotta do the thing. It, it's the man in me. It's coming out. I was born in it, raised by it. I was but a mere man when I learned what the light outside looked like. I hate. I hate entirely. Uh, my eyebrows are also this kind of... Uh, kind of... Uh, I'd say darker yellow. I'd say about that color if I'm looking correctly. Yeah. I always put my OCs into games, by the way. Uh... <laughs> I, I used to be the kind of person who would, uh, you know, make self-insert characters. But now now that I have, <laughs> now that I have OCs, I, I, I just want my OCs to enjoy themselves and have a good time in game. Okay, let's see the different types of noses. Also, I need to see this from the front. Yeah, I, I kind of want to go with this narrower style for soul. All right, my my lips are pretty thin. A pretty natural color. Uh, no, no lipstick really. I I don't really wear any, but the the thing is, um, I had a job that allowed beards, uh, back then, so I I grew it out. I grew out my beard. <laughs> And I just wanted, you know, a kind of simple look. There we go. A little natural blush to kind of accent the face. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, we can add freckle. I don't think I, I don't think I have any or birthmarks for that matter. So I, I was very much wanting to uh, kind of grow out my facial hair, see if I liked it, because uh, your boy was a little self-conscious about how I looked at the time. Um, I'm much less so now. I'm much less self-conscious uh, about my appearance. Uh, VTubing has actually very much helped that. Uh, but in in the same breath, <laughs> in in the same breath, uh, I I just wanted something I would be happy with. Yeah, I think that's kind of the best hair I can do. Uh, no, no, we want, uh, masculine. Hmm. I'm not really built out and broad like I am in real life. <laughs> uh, face paint. Do we, do we want to do any face paint? No, I, I think that's good. I think, I think this is pretty much the closest I'm getting to Solaria with this. Shut in, Sally. God damn it, Cor. Uh... There we go. Solario. <laughs> so I, I just decided to kind of grow it out, you know, enjoy myself. Our story begins with an ending. As you decide, it's time to leave. <laughs> oh my god, it is fucking Disney Stardew. <laughs> it's Disney Stardew. You arrive at a familiar place. Ooh. I got the Mickey Mouse kicks. along a nearby path leads you to a spot where, as a child, you found that life was simpler <laughs> and with a touch of imagination. All so yeah, I have like a full beard true. now that I've been basically maintaining. Uh, I recently got a haircut and a trim uh, for a job interview. Um, hold on, I do. Uh, hold on. Mouse. Mouse, please. <laughs> Mouse, please. I, I need to update the game screen. I just noticed something and it's causing me pain. Please. Please give me full control of my mouse. 
Hold on, if I unplug the controller, do I get my mouse back? Please! I noticed it's not fitting the screen! Please, I beg of you, give me... Hold on, I'm just gonna alt-tab. That's what, that's what I'm gonna fucking do. I'm, I'm gonna alt-tab so that I get my fucking mouse back. There we go. Sorry, you're not going to hear the game for a hot second. I'm sorry. I, I need to do this. Um, I can't fucking make it fit to screen. Okay, hold on. There we go. Okay, come on, you. There we go. It was a minor inconvenience, but honestly, it was going oh, to drive me insane. Oh, hello! Who's this? Are you my special little boy? <laughs> Are you my spectacles enchanted, or might you actually be real? Of course I'm real. I don't know. Are you? What kind of question is that? I think, honestly, if it was me, it'd be, I don't know. Are you? Hmm, <laughs> that's quite an excellent existential question i'll have to ponder that later i'm afraid you'll have to excuse me i haven't met anyone in ages <clears throat> welcome to dreamlight valley my friend dreamlight valley this place is strangely beautiful this place is sort of creepy awfully mysterious i'm gonna say sort of creepy this place isn't Da this place isn't dangerous, is it? He's not gay. He's just old. <laughs> I'm not going to project the sexuality and or preference of the wizard. <laughs> Sword in the Stone. Yes, that is where uh, Merlin comes from in the Disney universe. I hope we get some obscure ass references. Yo, yo, let me let me get on the Treasure Planet ship eventually in this game let's let's go to some deep cut references into disney you got the ip you might as well use it well it's true that the valley is a starry sight wizard didn't like the old lady well she was kind of a piece of shit it's compared to what it used to be but you have nothing to fear why, once upon a time, you couldn't find another realm with as much magic and wonder in it. Oh, but I haven't introduced myself yet. You're no doubt wondering who I am. Duh, you're Merlin. Um, you're some sort of wizard? Treasure Planet nearly bankrupt them. They just want to forget it, just like Atlantis. But here's the thing. Here's the, here, here, here's the thing. And I will say this with my full chest. Those are the two best films I fucking made. <laughs> Like, okay, I, I I remember the early 2000s. I remember this era of Michael Eisner Disney. And I have to say, the fact that those two didn't win multiple fucking, like, Emmys is a shame. Or Emmys or Oscars? Oscars! Oscars is film. Oscars is film. Oh my god, you have full control of the cutscenes? Yo, yo, you have full control of the cutscenes? Yo, that's kind of pog. That's kind of great. The thing is, as a kid growing up, I remembered far more quotes from Atlantis than I remembered from Lion King. I I have a deep love for those two films. Now, okay, my music, my taste in films might not be the greatest because I ironically like cats and Gore is probably going to point that out if I keep talking about films. Uh, but... Th those two films are have a special place in my heart. The thing is, I knew I'd, I'd know who this is. It's Merlin. It's fucking Merlin. It's so strange. I almost feel like I know you. You're a great and powerful wizard, right? Well, well yes. Uh, not just any wizard. Ah. I'm a soothsayer, a procrastinator. I have the power to see into the future. <laughs> and I'm also quite skilled at alchemy and prestigitation. Now that that's settled, there's a small matter of who you are. Me? I'm Solario. Solario, hmm? Well, there's only one way to get into Dreamlight Valley. It's to pass through dreams. So you must also possess great magic. Otherwise, how could you be here? Ma magic? Me? <laughs> no way. 
I don't know how I got here. Uh, yeah, great, great magic. <laughs> that would be me. Uh, I just closed my eyes and drifted off, and all of a sudden I was here. Magic had nothing to do with it. Right? The contrary. Magic had everything to do with it. In fact, I'm quite certain that you're the one we've been waiting for. You're going to save Dreamlight Valley. What can I do to help? What's in it for me? Save it from what? I am a very helpful personality. But I'd also want some form of reward. Also, I know that my gigantic ass is covering the dialogue options. That is why I'm saying all of them out. <laughs> I, I'm not going to change the side my model is on. It's, it's been here. It's going to stay here. I'm not, I'm not changing it. It'll be too much. And I've dealt with enough changes of recent. Uh, what, what can I do to help? Uh, that's the spirit of friendship. It's just what Dreamlight Valley needs. I read that completely wrong. Oh. If I were to restore the... If we had to restore the valley to what it is, I forgot what voice we were doing for Merlin. Oh. A place of magic, of wonder, of friendship. We need to stop the forgetting once and for all. Oh. We must, we must. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't seem to remember what we were talking about. The forgetting? The forgetting? Ah, yes, the forgetting! <laughs> ah, shit, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah. You'll have to forgive me. But now you can see where it gets its name. Oh. All right, listen closely and I'll tell you a tale. Before I forget again. Dreamlight Valley used to be a cheerful place full of happy villagers. Life was flourishing thanks to our ruler's magic. Until one day our ruler left without a trace, and the forgetting began. Memories began to fade in Dreamlight Valley. I can't read that fast. We did our best to preserve the mem- It's that one fucking Pokemon trailer all over again. It's that one fucking Pokemon trailer all over again where I had to pause it like 13 fucking times uh, to read the fucking thing. I don't want it to be another uh, Pokemon trailer. Please, just, just let me read. And as I can see into the future, I knew that someday someone would come help restore the valley. And tell me more about the forgetting. Tell me more about the missing ruler. Okay, I think this is a multi-tree. Tell me more about the forgetting. Yes, yes, of course, let me see. Well, when our ruler left, the sky turned dark. And those horrid night thorns invested the village, spreading everywhere like a bad thought. The more night thorns that appeared, the more clouded our memories became. I really should probably change my hair color. I hope that's an option. I might, I might need to change that because that's not what I thought it would be. That's, that's a little too pale. It might also be the lighting engine. Why sometimes I can't remember the faces of all the friends I've lost or the names of all the spells I've forgotten. Maybe if we get rid of the night thorn. Maybe if we get rid of the night thorns. The magic of the valley will be stronger than ever. Let's go full anime protagonist. That's how we're going to do this. Get rid of the night thorns. Hmm. Now there's an interesting thought. Oh, we got some level for that. Tell me more about the missing ruler. Well, now all the wonder, magic, and friendship in the valley came from the ruler. They watched over the village, kept us safe from dark magic. But one day they started to act different. Though I can scarcely remember it now. And then our ruler simply vanished. It's been 84 years, I think. I've lost track of all time because of the forgetting. What day of the week is it? <laughs> I'm sh I was about to do a Game, Grum Game Grumps reference. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I've just eaten a handful of cranberries and I didn't even remember. <laughs> Your ruler just up and left? There must have been some reason. Maybe your ruler had to leave. Maybe they didn't have a choice. Oh, well, ruler was kind and very noble. There must have been quite a good reason for why they left. Oh, I can't remember what it was. I'm ready to help restore the valley. 
Well, there's only one way to be absolutely certain you're the one destined to save Dreamlight Valley from the forgetting. It'll be a small test of your magic. You see, ever since the forgetting, I've been puzzled about this house blocked by night thorns. Come along, we'll investigate it together. All right, so yes, I am playing with controller. Um, I just didn't feel like doing keyboard today ever since I saw that uh, controller was an option. Also, uh, as I've said multiple times, I'm far more comfortable with a controller than I am with a uh, keyboard and mouse in most settings. All right. So we basically... I, I have to do the test. Yeah! And we can move the camera with right stick. Okay. And we can check quests with that. Try to enter the house. Okay, so... Oh. Merlin, get the fuck out of my way. Hello. I've consulted my notes and discovered that night thorns began investing Dreamlight Valley soon after our ruler disappeared. Mm -hmm. No one, not even I, can remove the blasted things. Only someone who can harness the magic of Dreamlight will be able to. By the way, I'm having to read uh, on my OBS screen. <laughs> I know this is a bit of an emergency break. I'm having to read on my OBS screen because I placed my iPhone in a new position for uh, better tracking. Uh, and it's covering up the fucking dialogue box. I didn't think that through hard enough. Uh, maybe maybe when I get some more money in, uh, I will fix that. <laughs> and I'm certain that someone is you, Solario. Uh, of course, why else would I be here? But I'm just ordinary. Uh, how do I remove them? But I'm just, yeah, but I'm just ordinary. That may be, but I've seen some uh, seemingly ordinary people do extraordinary things before. I saw a little boy pull a sword from a stone. That shit was fire. I'm going to take a drink. It's actually hard to do Merlin's voice for long. I, I have to really constrict my voice to do his. Like constrict my uh, vocal cords to do his voice. Now, focus your thoughts on the night thorns. Yeah, let's do this. That sounds too easy. Gross, it's all dirty. Fuck it, let's do this. I sense the magic within you already. I've got the magic in me. <laughs> Every time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't intend this to become a karaoke stream. It, it just, I, I feel in a better mood, so it just happened. Focus on it and say the magic words. Abracadabra. Higgitus, figgitus. Bibbidi boppity boo. You know what? We're hitting him with the Cinderella. Ah, the fairy godmother's magical phrase. Wise choice. Let's go! Yeah! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> you've done it! Bravo, bravo! Salario, this proves you can harness the power of dreamlight magic. Well, then, there's no time to lose. Let's go outside and see what's become of this house. Well, run along now. It's been a long time since Dreamlight Valley received a new visitor, you know. I, I feel like I'm too tall for this house. The, the door looks a little tall. Oh, boy. It it's house flipper all over again. I have I have to build my ramshackle shack. Oh dear, the night thorns have made their way inside the house too. That's strange. Suddenly I can't remember why we came in here. Must be the night thorns. Yeah, precisely, being near so many of them clouds the mind. You must remove them before they consume more memories. Focus your magic once again, Solario. Off with you now. <laughs> lots to do, lots to do. Yo, that, okay, that animation is kind of fire. All right, is there anything more to really take care of? Pick this up. Oh, I have received, oh, it's a puzzle piece. Uh -huh. Oh, yo, oh, oh my God. Oh no, is this going to become Kingdom Hearts? Is this going to become Kingdom Hearts? Please, please tell me that that Mickey hasn't wasn't the ruler and has abandoned his kingdom. If Aqua gets fucking norted again. <laughs> if I find out that Mickey's on this adventure for a person 
and this is somehow tied to Kingdom Hearts lore, I'm going to scream. All right, so we can also see events. So Star Path, I see the Pixar ball. Complete duties to earn tokens. Da -da 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 -da. <gasps> can be lightning queen. I can be lightning McQueen. I can also have the Increda Squirrel. Oh, yo. Okay. Okay. So we can see the different tiers. And apparently the last premium is this, which I need to get. I, I need to get it. So it's apparently a premium. There's also different... Uh, like quest items I can be getting. This game is um interesting to be sure. Okay. So let's see what we do. Okay, so talk to Merlin. Hello. Hello. It's the glowing orb you pulled from the night dawn. It's a memory. It's like a fog has lifted and I can recall something of great importance. Mickey Mouse and I were once at the Dream Castle, and we left something there. Something important. Let's go find it. What was it? I want to see the castle. Yeah, okay, I have ADHD. I'm only focused on the castle. As you should. The castle is magnificent, though. I'm afraid it's seen better days. If only I could remember what we left there. Well, we must go solve this mystery. But wait, there's something else returning to me. When our ruler left, the royal tools were lost, scattered throughout the valley. We must find them quickly. They're filled with ancient and powerful magic. The royal tools? If I could find those, then maybe I could help the valley learn more powerful magic. Solve the mystery of the forgetting. Yeah, let's solve the mystery. This is a mystery game. Well, that's certainly no shortage of mysteries to solve around here. Where else we must obtain the pickaxe. When the forgetting came and our ruler left, we found the pickaxe driven into a blighted stone in the plaza. Come to think of it, it was around the time the sky went dark and the night thorns overran the plaza. Oh, I think it's a bit of a muddle, I'm afraid. No one's been able to lift the pickaxe. <laughs> okay, I see what you did there, Merlin. I see what you did there. No one's been able to lift the pickaxe from the stone, but there, no one was you, Solario. <laughs> and after all, it wouldn't be the first time somebody pulled something from a stone and became a hero of legend. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Pull the pickaxe from the stone in the plaza. Got it? Anything else? Oh, that was me. Pull the pickaxe from the stone. Uh, anything else? You must also find the other three royal tools. The shovel, the watering can, and the fishing rod. <gasps> There's fishing in this game. It has suddenly gained much more of my interest. It has suddenly gained so much more of my interest. You'll need them for what's to come. That is, if you're staying here with us. Of course. <laughs> Magnificent, and the house shall be your home. You'll need a safe place in the valley to eat, sleep, and keep your energy up. It's got so much potential. It's a bit of a mess. It's so small. I agree, it's small. <laughs> but it wasn't always so. In fact, I seem to remember that the ruler of Dreamlight Valley had a house like this once. Perhaps you'll do as much good for the valley as the ruler did. In fact, here's a little something for you to get started. If you ever feel like you need a boost of energy, there's something up th in there that will fill you right up. I've received a chest. Now then, I'll be at the Dream Castle. You can find me there when you're ready. Ah, okay, so I can track it using A. So we need to find all of the, uh, excuse me, all the tools. First things first, though, let's get all this shit out of my yard so okay we can see everything we have so we got coal ore 
and red falling pen penstemon is that how you say that penstemon oh i can also get some apples yo i'm fully exploring this game i've got carrot seeds all right yeah let's let's get rid of the forgetting in my yard and see uh what benefits that doth give me oh it gives me seed so yeah note to self make sure i'm not leaving anything behind Because I'm guessing I can, like, use these. I saw in the kind of uh, intro cinematic that they had that uh, you can cook with, like, ratatouille. So, I, of course, want to do that. All right. We have coin. Khajiit has many wares if you have the coin. Yeah, we're farming. We're farming for resources. So we can't do that yet because we need to head to the plaza to get all the tools. All right, let's definitely also grab this coal and this flower. Oh, this must be the plaza he was talking about. Yeah, let's get the uh, forgetting away from there, too. I'm betting the flowers also have some form of significance or else they wouldn't be there. Oh, shit, I'm exhausted. Uh, and I have mail. Before claiming your items, we suggest you sync your account with the cloud. Uh, let's connect. Let's not connect. Uh, thank you for purchasing the Founder Pack base game. All right, so we get some accessories with that. All of them look pretty cool. Okay, fine. I'll connect. If it says my username, though, I'm going to be upset. It said all my progress is being saved, so that's a good thing. Yeah, we're not going to do that right now. I'm not, I'm not giving you all that information. No, 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 no. All right, so we back in the building. We're going to claim anyway. Yes. Okay, so there are all of those items. So apparently in the plaza here is where we can get all of our tools. I'm guessing in this well. Oh, uh, remove small night thorns. We got that. In our collection, we now have more clothing sets. Oh, it's a jersey. Oh, can I get haunted mansion shit? Please tell me I could get shit from the parks. Oh, a loose white button up shirt. With the sleeves rolled. Hey, hey. All right, so non-Disney related. Yo, can we actually, like, start dressing ourselves? Yo, that would actually be kind of nice. Okay, I gotta kind of... That's probably something we could do later in the game. So apparently hidden in the plaza is all of the tools we need. So apparently the pickaxe is stuck in stone. Also, I do see Scrooge McDuck over here. So I'm kind of just curious as to what Scroogey boy is doing. Greetings, neighbor. Greetings, neighbor. Oh, you gave me quite the start. Don't you know to never sneak up on someone while he's contemplating his investment? Oh, I'm Solario, and you're Scrooge McDuck. Ah, that I am. You must keep up with the business news. Uh, 
Oh, my business is in a sorry state these days. Just look at my shop. The whole village is in a sorry state. And maybe, but you cannot be hopeless about it. A true visionary seeks opportunity in every corner. After the sky went to dark, most of the villagers skedaddled. And few and fewer clients came in until they stopped altogether. But I cannot remember where they all went. I know they stayed to take care of my shop and, money, and my money, of course. But then, hmm. Oh, yes. The night thorns blocked me in, and I cannot remember much after that. But the light glitters of gold. I'm starting, I'm starting to remember the village as it used to be. I don't actually remember Scrooge McDuck's voice, so I'm just spitballing here off the little uh, noise he made. And it's investment opportunities. I just want to help the village. And nothing will help the village faster than sound investment. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, community cannot prosper without them. All right, he's, Irish. he's a Scottish. Got it. Uh -huh. I've got a deal for you, Salario. If you help me make enough star coins to put my shop back in business. I'll make sure it's stuck with everything needed to put the valley back together. I'm not as confident in my Scottish, but you know what? I'll fucking go for it. Goofy used to have a stall in the meadow of the, to the south. I'm sure he'd appreciate any help you can give him. Lad doesn't exactly have the mind for money. You'll need to find a way to break the locks by like blocking the road in the meadow when you do. Hunt Goofy and help him get back to back in business. Then you can help me with my grand reopening. Oh, you know, I see you have a map there. Don't forget to, uh, don't forget to use it and to find your way around the village. It literally took me so long to fucking remember what Scrooge McDuck sounded like because it has been so utterly long since I've seen DuckTales. I, I remember that the that theme song and quite a few others were just like the iconic parts of our childhood that everyone seems to remember. That and like, Darkwing Duck, let's get dangerous. Darkwing Duck. Okay, yeah, let's gather the sticks as well. Oh my god, that's a large freaking... <gasps> I see it. I see our boy. There he is. Oh, a large party. Ah, yes! Yes, yes, thank you for the raid! <laughs> hello, hello! How are you, Gaz? Hold on. I need to shout you out if that command is still working. Come on, do the thing. Yeah. Oh, you were playing Baron Breakfast. I'm going to act like that's new information to me. One cozy game to another. Correct. Uh, I just started playing this uh, today. So we're learning all of the uh, fun things that we can do. Yo, the couch for pals? Let's fucking go. Oh, we got the we got some of the Pixar Fest coins. Uh, why not? Let's unlock the premium. We'll, we'll get the battle pass for Disney Dreamlight Valley. All right, we also have some more rewards. I wonder what this leads to. Is there like skill trees where you can enhance your skills? All right, we have our pickaxe. So now we can break rocks. That was not a lovely face. Oh my God, we're the warrior. <laughs> we're the warrior of light. My, that's a shade of blue. Oh my God, we literally brought light to the world. Open the tool wheel with uh, right trigger and select the pickaxe. Mine to remove obstacles with R. Okay, uh, how did how did he do that again? Hold on, I almost forgot the controls. Oh, okay. So for mining, it's X, and we now have stone, I believe, so that can make uh, roads. 
Uh, the only advice I can offer is you assign a friend to help you do things like fishing and gardening and you'll help do things quicker. Uh, I have not gotten to that portion of the game yet. I'm literally at the very, very beginning. Uh, but I will try to remember that. Although knowing me and um, my absolute love and adoration for fishing, uh, I will probably be doing the fishing myself. Am I suffering from exhaustion again? Oh, no. Oh, geez. Oh, wow. Um, okay, so we also need to find a couple other things in the plaza. All right, what will that be? It's a pouch. What the fuck? Yeah, I, I'm a, a sucker for fishing in games. I hear a waterfall. Hey, yo! We also need to find the uh, shovel and the watering can in the plot. Oh, no. Oh no, we're tired. Oh no. How do I how do I eat? Oh, here's inventory. Let's eat us an apple. Let's eat quite a few apples. There we go. All right, I've eaten like 15 apples and now my energy is back. All right. Oh, it's finally starting to get cold around here. How absolutely lovely. It was actually kind of warm the past two days. I want to get the fishing rod so bad. All right, so this is the meadow, I'm guessing. So this is where I can find my soon-to-be pride and joy fishing. The thing is, I've told this story on stream before, but uh, back in the day, I used to go fishing a ton with my dad, and I absolutely have, like, so much love for it. The problem was, my dad was the kind of, like, fisher uh, who would, like, start fishing at, like, four in the morning. Oh my god, a dark and ominous portal. My favorite. Alright, we have received a note. Oh, that, that comes with a memory. Come here, precious memory. I can't read this. The meadow is a fair and peaceful place full of soft grass and pleasant breezes. Good for a picnic or a walk. All right, good to know. We are in the meadow then. So apparently we were supposed to find the watering can and the uh, shovel also in the plaza. We have raspberries. How lovely. I love raspberries. <gasps> We've got a golden chest. What is inside? It's... Oh my god, a lot of coins. Alright, yeah, let's uh, clear the path to these homes. And let's break into people's houses. Oh, -ho! well, shit. <laughs> How's it going? Well, gosh, it's someone new. Say, you're not the scary kind of stranger, are you? You're just a friend I haven't met yet, right? Of course I'm a friend. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. Dun da dun da 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 ya pa 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 Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> oh my god, the amount of times I've been to Disneyland and fucking heard this song is un uncountable. Uh, I guess I can be a little scary. I'm here to help. Are you okay? Sure I am. But I got a little scary when the sky went dark and a bunch of my friends left. But now you're here. 
We're gonna be good pals. I just know it. Uh, if that ain't too forward. Yeah. <laughs> and Jay, there's so much I want to show you. There's my stall. We'll have to clean it up, though. And we could go fishing. Of course, I have to find my lucky fishing rod. Slow down, Goofy. We can do it all. Just start with finding... Let's start with going to your stall. <laughs> Great. I'm really excited to show you around. All right. So we can track quests with... Uh, I'm guessing the menu button. Well, Gorn, she kind of spawned inside of me. That's not supposed to happen. Yeah, I'm partially clearing this forgetting uh, because it gives me things and partially because I just want to beautify this place as much as possible. Well, gosh, I guess it's a little more run down than I thought. But that's okay. Uncle Scrooge's construction company can fix it right up. You can use the sign to call them. Works for me. Works for me. <laughs> yep. Good day to you. It's a okay, time to time to do my terrible Scottish accent again. It's about time Goofy fixed this place up. I'm glad he got you to help. Now let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Goofy can have his stall at no extra cost since the valley needs it. But next time I won't be as generous. What say you? Yeah, let's fix a stall. Goofy's stall is now... My Scottish accent is so bad. It's so terrible. If you see another property... Um, I'm just going to do this. My Scottish accent is so bad. If you see another property you're interested in, don't hesitate to let me know. Simply go to the sign next to it. Okay. <laughs> Scrooge just beat the shit out of me and then built a stall. <laughs> that was so loud in my ear, by the way. I might turn that down. Goofy, there's something under you I kind of need. Well, if you're going to push me, then fuck off. All right. Amusing rivalry lately. Scrooge can't for the life of him figure out why Goofy's stall is more profitable. Goofy started trying to help and then it's about as funny, funnily as Goofy's help always does. Okay, so we're just kind of getting this in fragmented orders. Oh, and that's to upgrade, I believe? Improving the stall would be a sound investment. Goofy could buy and sell more products so you can make more improvements to the valley. 500 coins. Goodbye now. Goodbye now. All right, let's get some more raspberries. And Goofy f fucked off somewhere. Wait, where did Goofy fuck off to? Where has the goof gone? Oh, this is an old, like, uh, planetarium. Who are you? Who are you? I might have to eat more apples soon. Where are you taking me, little buddy? I'll follow you anywhere. Where? This is a Disney film, so... Okay, buddy. A gift. I must... Okay, you know what? I will give you an apple. Oh, that's where Goofy is. Gorge. Gorge. Wow, it looks better than ever. <laughs> now I just need to find my lucky fishing rod. It's got to be in one of the ponds in the meadow. These are my favorite fishing spots. I'm starting to get less confident about my voice acting of Disney characters as this goes along. Well, gosh, Goofy, maybe it's right the fuck there. Fucking hell. Well, I was about to go to the void. I think I found your lucky fishing rod, Goofy. Only one problem. It seems to be busted. The reel won't turn. 
Thanks, Solario. Here, let me see. Ah, oh, it was just jammed up with seaweed, but it's all fixed now. Tell you what, now that I have my lucky fishing rod back, I'll give you this one I found after the forgetting so we can fish together. I think it belonged to our old ruler. Hey, look, it seems to like you. Hmm, it's reacting to me? Because I'm great at fishing. Oh boy, I've been waiting for a fishing, buddy. Well, here you go. It's all yours. Because my son Max won't do shit with me anymore because he's a fucking teenager. <laughs> and here's the groovy hat so you can look like a real angler. Oh my god, I'm so putting that on. I'm so going to be a nerd and put that on. What do you think of the hat? Pretty spiffy, huh? It's so stylish. It sure is. So hey, maybe I could start my own line of goof wear. I'll make dresses with pockets. I could give Uncle Scrooge some competition, a <laughs> yuck. All right, let me show you how to use your new fishing rod. I now have the ability to fish. Nothing else in this game will matter. I really need to turn that down. Okay, hold on. I will fix that real quick. Let's lower the volume to like here. There we go. Oh! <gasps> Okay, so we now have streaming friendly mode, which I didn't realize was an option. Disney? Disney Bully. Please don't fucking wreck my ass. Please. Please. Pinky, pinky promise. Pinky promise you, you won't come after my ass. Alright, so there's Goofy. Mickey is there. Oh, I can actually see where all the quest givers are. Okay. So there's one more from Scrooge, one from Mickey, and that's probably going to be my watering can and uh, shovel quests. I also see two people are bleeding here. But in all actuality, I'm probably going to want to go back to those after. Uh... <gasps> there's a mystical light. Okay, so... It says right trigger. I guess it's not giving me access to the wheel right now. For some reason. Okay, hold on. Let's head back over to Scrooge real quick. Hello. Well done, Salario. With Goofy back in business, we can make some money. Then when you're ready to invest in my grand reopening, come find my sign next to the Scrooge General Store. Thank you kindly. All right, so apparently Mickey is over here. I'm starting to get exhausted, so that is wor- Uh, damn it, I am exhausted. Okay, let's go into my inventory and eat a shit ton of apples. There we go. All right, let us open this as well. We got some coins. All right, so let's get into Mickey's house here. Oh, oh no, my house is full of shit. Solario, oh boy, I am glad to see you, M Mickey Mouse. I'm glad to see you too. Do you need help? I'm a big fan. Well, I'm, well, I'm a big fan of yours. In fact, I saw you talking to Merlin and come in to get something for you. But I can't seem to remember what. This is just going to be me shittily doing my take on Disney characters. And frankly, I, I'm here for it. <laughs> I, I'm still learning voice acting. So manipulating my voice in that way is kind of difficult. It must be because of these night thorns. I'll help you remember. <laughs> Gosh, these night thorns are the worst. I've tried everything and nothing works. Well, luckily, I've got the magic in me. Yay! Oh, wait, there's one more. <gasps> Such a cute outfit. We've unlocked a satchel and a memory. How lovely. All right. The memory is... <gasps> And Beast, and... I've not seen Wreck-It Ralph, and I don't know that character's name. 
Uh, let me let me see if I can show you. I don't remember that character. I think her name is Vanessa, but I don't honestly remember. All right, let's uh, collect um, all the dream light as well. I'm, I'm guessing this is used for something or else it wouldn't, you know, have me go through it. Oh, oh boy, hot dog, it's all coming back to me now. Dreamlight Valley used to be full of friends. Like my pal, Remy. He was always trying out new recipes. And I was always happy to taste them. Haha. <laughs> I also remember when Remy had to leave. He left me all his recipes to keep safe for him. Who's Remy? Why, why did he leave? Where are they? Because the night thorns came and everyone started to forget. I buried his recipes all over the valley to keep him safe. It's, uh... Well, it seemed like the best idea at the time. <laughs> uh huh? Hey, I've got an idea. Remy's recipes could help you make meals to keep your energy up while you help save the valley. There's one recipe we could get right now. The memory you found should give us a clue on where we could find it. Okay. See you real soon. Okay. So we need to go to Chiz. We need to go to... <laughs> Mickey, get out of my ass. Mickey, I beg of you, out of my ass. Yeah, because the only meals we have right now to uh, combat exhaustion are basically the freestanding fruits. Okay, so we need to go over here, I believe, to the cheese restaurant. My hand was off the controller. My, my hand was completely off the controller for that entire sequence. <gasps> the shovel. Na 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 na. Shovel get. <laughs> shovel. Oh fuck. What is falling? That is my phone. Fuck. I don't want that on the floor. I, I want that up here. Okay, it's not broken. We are good. Uh, open the tool wheel with RT and select the shovel. Okay. So, for some reason... Okay, so the controller that I have has hair triggers. Uh, for, like, uh, shooting games and such. And... For some reason, I was trying and trying and trying to uh, get this to work. All right, so I think that's the recipe, but this one's gold. It's just a rock. So I, I was trying my best to try and get the fishing rod out and it just wouldn't. Hey, how goes it? It goes well, Pat. How are you doing? Uh, now that you're here, I should probably uh, take a sippy sip. Hold on, you gotta do this under my desk so it's not so loud. There we go. We are playing a little Disney Dreamlight Valley on a nice Tuesday uh, evening. A little later than my usual time as well. Um, so we found Remy's recipe. So that means Mickey has gone off somewhere. But for right now, we just unlocked the fishing mechanic. So I got to I got to go fishing. All right, let's get it in there. <laughs> oh, boy, what are you doing? All right, it's a rhythm game. We caught a fish. It's a rainbow trout. Oh, boy, you caught a fish. Hi! What should I do? Well, now that you found the recipe, you can learn it. Okay, so I'm guessing that means going into my inventory and reading the recipe book. We have learned grilled veggies. Awesome. I believe we have another one in here from uh, 
the pack that we got. <gasps> Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, 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 yummy fruit salad. I did my time. Hello, boy. Are you winning, son? Got a minute, pal? Go yeah, on. I got a minute. Glad to see you. Oh, boy, we did it. We found the shovel and the recipe for... For... Fuck. Fruit salad? Oh, ho, ho, ho. All this trouble over fruit salad? Is it like some kind of magic fruit salad or something? <laughs> well, all of Remy's recipes taste magical, even the simple ones. And I bet if you keep looking, you'll find some recipes that are a little bit more exciting. I know Remy would trust you with his recipes, and I'm pretty sure you'll like making them. Hmm, if I find more of Remy Remy's recipes, maybe I could start my own restaurant and get rich. Hell yeah! Start a tavern! Do it! Do it now! Ha ha ha, you sound like Donald's Uncle Scrooge! Now, before you start collecting other recipes, we gotta make this one first. First, we'll have to gather the ingredients. I'll go see what I have in my garden. Maybe that one you make the one you wanna make the fruit salad. It's been so long since I tasted one of Remy's recipes, I can't wait to try it. Oh, and here are some overalls for you to wear if you want to look the part for what comes next. Gardening. Oh, shit, those look good. Oh, shit, they look good. I'm about to suffer from exhaustion. Alright, we are probably going to, uh... Talk to Mickey in his garden. Okay, let's go freehand for now. Since we're not really doing anything that requires, uh... Hi. Gosh, Solario, there isn't much left to my garden. It just needs a little love. Yeah, it just hasn't been the same since the night thorn showed up. <gasps> Minnie definitely wouldn't be happy if she saw it like this. She loves my garden. Well, the sooner we make this recipe, the sooner we can make Dreamlight Valley a place she'll be proud of again. Okay, the recipes say to prepare the fruit salad, we need fruits like apple. I bet you can find some of those around the village. You want to make some crackers and fruit salad, that's so. Simple should be easy to make. Yep, and there's nothing wrong with simple, but uh, to tell you the truth, the real reason I want to make crackers is because that's what Minnie used to make. Oh. Oh, poor baby. Poor baby boy. He misses his wife. He misses his wife. He just want wife back. I, I feel so sad for him. Honestly, he, he just want his wife back. Yes, I wish she was here to make him now. I, I don't know how to do Mickey's voice in Depressed. <laughs> Mickey, are you okay? <laughs> me, me? I'm fine. <laughs> oh boy, I miss Minnie, but I'm sure. Help, that'll make you here now. Honestly, with voice acting, sometimes I need an opener to remember how the voice goes. And with Mickey's, it's, oh boy. Okay, Minnie's crackers are super easy to bake. They only take some wheat. Here's the recipe. <laughs> Oh boy. Yikes, I forgot. We have to start gardening before we can start cooking. To get some wheat, we'll have to plant it. Here are some seeds we can use. All right, so we're going to plant some wheat. Oh, 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 we're just getting the full fucking gambit. So long for now. Okay, so do we use Mickey's garden? Or do we want to make our own? Do, do we want to make our own gar- Ah, oh, god damn it. It's raspberry chomping time. There we go. Alright, so we need uh, some wheat. Should probably do this in my little back garden over here. Oh, 
Oh, and there's the watering can. Hey, yo. Yeah, by the way, I should speak on why I'm streaming on a Tuesday. So, um, for most of you who have been paying attention to my recent schedule, I've been kind of streaming, you know, the same days every week uh, because those were my days off. That's that's kind of what I was used to doing. Hey there. Hi. Sorry, I can't talk right now. Yeah, let's definitely, uh, my inventory is full. Lovely. Hopefully I can get or make chests to, uh, fix that. Okay, please, please let me just farm normally. Yeah, let's just get as much of this into farmable as we can. Come on. I want to get rid of these barrels. I, I don't want the barrels. Okay, so let's see. Is there like a chest or something in my house where I can put some of my inventory? No, I... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I do have storage. Uh... Let's transfer over. Actually, let's quickly, I think we can open up these clothing bags. Oh, we get some stylish shit. Okay, yeah, let's uh, keep doing that. All right, why to open the wardrobe? We have a chair, apples, cookies. I think that filled up my inventory more than I got rid of it. All right, so we got some yellow Mickey high tops. Yeah, let's just try and uh, clear out the inventory a little bit so I can... Uh, Pick some stuff up. Ooh, flannel. All right, so we now have the cracker recipe. We have some new clothing items. And we have some new uh, crafting materials. All right, last but not least is this clothing item that we got from a chest or somewhere. Some red skinny jeans. Oh, are we going back to my emo era? Lovely. All right, let's transfer the coal. Let's transfer all the like building materials into here. Hello, Shep. <laughs> oh, want a break from the hall? That's that stuck in my head now and will never leave. So let's transfer these two clothing bags into my inventory. Because we've, ar we've already got the emo fit. Good morning, Lamau. Good morning to you, too. A person on the opposite side of the planet who is also my clone. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, we're playing some Disney Dreamlight Valley so that I can, you know, fulfill my Stardew dreams. Yeah, I, I got on this topic, but then I got off of it because some other things happened in the game. Um, so, yes, I am streaming on a Tuesday. I don't normally stream on Tuesdays. Uh... And basically, it's just never been a thing. Ah, uh, yes, Disney. Yeah. Yeah, Disney World. Uh, 
All right, let's fill out this whole like garden area. I know for a fact this is not going to be enough. And also, I cannot wait until I can get rid of these fucking barrels. All right, yeah, let's definitely, uh, let's plant all of our wheat. I love the part where Mickey Mouse says, huh. Let's also plant, uh, these all with our carrot seed. Also, this is streamer mode, so we should be free from copyright. You can also tell I went to sleep at two. Lovely. I did about the same. Hi. Great. Now we need to water them before they dry out. Minnie always says to pay attention to the leaves on the plants to let you know when it's time to water. <laughs> Hoping you... Uh, have a great rest of your stream. Ah, uh, do you need to go back to bed, Sheppy? Do you, do you need to go back to bed? Thanks, pal. If you do, I completely understand. Please get some, you know, good sleep. We're making the garden green. We're making the garden green. There we go. Now they're all growing nicely. Talk to Mickey while you wait for crops to grow. Oh, Gore. <laughs> Gore, I love you, homie. I, I already took care of it. <laughs> but thank you for shouting out Gaz again. Gaz definitely deserves it. Gaz is an amazing streamer, an amazing personality. She does. Uh, they do an amazing job on their stream. Uh, please, please go check them out. Uh, let's get the pickaxe out. Oh, God damn it! I'm hungry again. All right. Time to eat three raspberries. Time to eat four raspberries. Raspberries will be cure. <laughs> I have wheat. Ooh, we can make a trellis art. Ooh, I can make this shit pretty. I can make this shit pretty. Oh, oh hey, there. hey there. Well, Solario, you sure got a green thumb. Thanks, Mickey. Gardening is so relaxing. I agree. There's nothing like working in my garden to help feel peaceful, especially when there aren't any night thorns to worry about. Well, now that you know how to garden... Why don't you get some ingredients ready for the fruit salad? Apples grow on all the apple trees around the village. If you already picked some, you might need to wait for more to grow, but don't worry, it shouldn't take too long. And to make sure some of each ingredients... Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I think there's a trunk in my house where I can store them. Yeah, I used to have a big trunk where I can keep all my ingredients too. Da, 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 da. <laughs> this boy's so depressed. He just... <laughs> M Mickey is a wife guy. M Mickey just wants his wife. That that's all Mickey wants. <laughs> Mickey Mickey being out here, I miss my wife, Solario. I miss my I miss her a lot. I'll be back. Okay, so let's harvest these raspberries, grab the carrot seeds, and let's, uh, oh, we have more apples. Lovely. Definitely need those. And let's harvest all of our wheat. There we go. So all of our wheat is done. Let's plant, uh... Why, why can't I just plant multiple? It says hold A to plant multiple. Yep, 
Yeah, there we go. That allowed me to plant multiple. Okay, there we go. So if they're in a straight line, I can plant multiple. But if not, I can't. Okay. Also, glad for this mouse tool. Uh, that never runs out of water somewhere. I, okay, so go to your house with Mickey and start cooking. Mickey, we gotta cook, Mickey. Gosh, now that you're here, I just know things will get better. So Mickey's just chilling in my house. <laughs> I love how Mickey's like, I've got an extra one. I'm like, I'm tempted to go with this option behind me, which is, uh, that's kind of weird, Mickey. Why? Doesn't everyone just have an extra stove lying around? I mean, Markiplier is a man with five ovens. Is it really that weird? Here you go. All right, so let's, uh, designing your universe, few furniture. I almost said future. We're not gonna, we're not gonna talk about that. So access the furniture menu from the inventory, select the furniture to customize. Just gonna water my floor real quick. Uh, request a white gas stove. Let's put that under the window here. What the fuck was that? All right, let's cook. Interact with any stove. You'll need coal to power it. Combine different ingredients. Discover new recipes. Eat, sell, or give your meals to friends around the valley. All right, so in the pot should go raspberries and apples, I believe. So apple, raspberry, and then cook. We made a fruit salad. Yo, okay. I'm going to I'm going to experiment with some shit. Let's do wheat and raspberries. We made crackers. Okay, let's do um basil and fish. Oh, grilled fish. Lovely. There's probably more we can make in the future. Okay, so I made both the recipes. I know one day Remy will be back in Dream Life Valley, but in the meantime, you're a really good chef. Happy to play my part. I just know you're going to do a great job. All you got to do is find Remy's recipes, or you can come up with some of your own. If you want, you could share your meals with the villagers in the valley. I'm sure they'll actually really appreciate it. Gosh, are we sure lucky to have you. Oh, we get friendship levels. Oh my god, there's a there's a battle pass. Yo, we got the Mickey ears on the battle pass. Unlocked new roles. Oh, I can make him go do things. Oh, you're our gardener for sure. Because I don't want to fucking deal with that shit. I'm going to be totally honest. I don't fucking want to deal with that shit. Okay, so basically, strengthen my friendships. I gain levels. What the fuck is that noise? Is there something? Is there something living in my walls? Is Nardwar just living in my fucking walls? Is he trying to find information about me? Okay, so Mickey seems to be uh, done so. So we got all of our tools, so now we just need to talk to Merlin. Actually, it seems we have more things. Okay, so let's just scroll through, get all that stuff. Uh, and then we have some more dream light to collect. All right, so now we have 1250 starlight, I believe. Okay, so apparently... Yeah, 
If we buy three or more of the rewards, we unlock level two. So let's just unlock rewards because we can here. There we go. So now we have level two unlocked. But if we collect them all, I bet there's some form of bonus to that as well. Hold on. Let's quickly go talk to Merlin. I have something to offer you, my dear boy. Have a raspberry. I have gained trust with the squirrels. Well, hello. Solario, this is the dream castle. It holds many secrets, uh, hances, uh, how blast it all. Ah, yes. I can't seem to remember what's inside. I bet that inside the castle we'll find even more mysteries. There's no doubt the castle will have its shares of mysteries to solve. But I'm hopeful it also holds the answers we seek. Such as the secret to restoring Dreamlight Valley to its former glory. So let's go inside. Easier said than done, Solario. The night thorns that encase the dream castle aren't like any you've dealt with before. They're stranger and take more of your magic to defeat. Follow me, there's so much to show you. Okay, so basically, this this is the game's way of saying, like, BRB? Okay, see you in a sec, Gore. Well, hello. Hello. Everything in Dreamlight Valley is made of, well, Dreamlight. It's the sparkles you see over everything and everyone, even a wizard such as myself. But Dreamlight becomes scarcer and scarcer as the forgotten forgetting fell over the valley. Ever since you arrived, though, our magic has started to come back. The magic is connected with me. I want to make it stronger. I'll become the best warrior on all of Earth. All right, but it's not through the desire for power that magic grows. Dreamlight magic grows stronger through acts of friendship, love, and care. Simple acts like removing night thorns and forging with friends with me. Gaze into the well and you'll discover the different tasks that will create more dream light. And since you've already found all the royal tools, the wishing well is reacting to your newfound powers. Excuse me. But we should start simply look into the well and see what the valley needs. Even the simplest task will bring great change and help end the forgetting. As long as they're done in the spirit of friendship, love and care. Now, once you've gathered enough dream light to remove these horrid night thorns from the castle, come find me again. Uh, okay, so we're going to use Dream Light to get rid of the big thorns. So we have 1250 at the moment. How much? Okay, Goofy, what's up? Nice catch. Thanks for everything, Solario. Finding my fishing rod helped me fix up the stall. Hey, you're one great pal. Anything to help my friends? Aw, oh, shucks. I'm really proud to be your friend. In fact, here's a little sun to show how much I appreciate you. It's a free sample of some of the seeds I sell in the meadow. <gasps> Cabbage it lettuce. Oh, so basically the three seeds I was already doing. I get new stuff in the stall all the time. So come, come on by anytime you like. In fact, you can even be an investor and help me make it even better. Then I can sell even more kinds of seeds. Hey there. How's it going? I have something to give you. Let's let's give him a gift of some cookies to get him to level two. Oh, yuck, I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. We have sunglasses. All right, so unlock new roles. I want you to forage. I hate doing foraging. Even though it's actually one of my favorite things to do in games. All right, so let's talk to Merlin. My word, you've pulled the pickaxe from the stone. Oh, and, and look, now the enchanted pickaxe is in the hands of someone worthy again. The blasted darkness that's hung over this valley has finally disappeared. <laughs> Call me the hero of light, a um, dreamlight valley. Just trying to help. What should I do next? <laughs> Call me the hero of dreamlight valley, duh. <laughs> no, no, I'm afraid one cannot simply decide that they're a hero. That's a title which must be bestowed upon you by your peers. But you know, you'll do a great many deeds here. Improve yourself, Worthy. 
and the royal tools will help you do them. The pickaxe can only be wielded by one who is worthy, which means which you most certainly are. I'm going to sippy sip real quick. My throat's getting dry. <laughs> oh, gosh. It, sure is nice today. it is, Mickey. What the fuck? All right. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it's basically, you're the chosen one. Yes. Alright, we've hit level three and we have a new wallpaper. Let's go. Alright, uh, does Merlin have another quest for us? And is Mickey just... Go Mickey, fucking hell. Goofy just gonna stare at the thorns. All right, so basically what it seems like I need to do is just more quests. I got really distracted reading the story and uh, completely forgot that there was a different story I need to tell. Uh, do these get removed by the shovel? No. The pickaxe? No. So let's just break things and get things in order to uh, progress further. Yeah, I, I completely forgot that there was a completely separate story I was going to tell. Uh, oh shit, my inventory's full. Crap. Um, can I use some of these dream light crystal dream shards? No. Okay, uh, Scrooge has a shop he wants to open. Greetings, neighbor. Uh, la, 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 da, 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 da. Let's open the shot. So that'll probably increase my friendship with Scrooge. Since he's a capitalist, he wants this shit to prosper. Good day to you. Bless me, bagpipes. I'm back in business. All I need now are some customers. Oh, and a good investment deserves a good return. These coins are for you. Use them to get anything you like. So I just spent a thousand and he's giving me 400. So he took about a 60% profit return. Wow, that math was quick. Okay. We, we'll check that out later. Uh, for now, I kind of want to get rid of some of this blight and uh, make this place start looking a bit better. I see a memory. So yeah, Tuesday stream. God damn it. I've, been, I've gotten on this topic like three separate times and then gotten distracted by something in the story. Um. So basically, uh, don't normally stream on Tuesdays. What the fuck? So... You, you've probably heard, if you've been on my streams as of recent, me talking about um, a place called Secret Job, as I've been referring to it. Uh, the reason I've been calling it Secret Job is not because, you know, it was with the government or anything like saucy like that. Uh, the reason was, basically, if I revealed the location or the company I worked for, it would probably get y'all a little too close to where I live. Uh, or at least narrow it down significantly. And I love you all, uh, but you don't need to know where I live. <laughs> Hell, Sally doesn't even know. Uh, he He's not seemed to figure it out. There seems to be some sort of block there that's preventing him. Um. Oh my god, my inventory's fucking full. Hold on, can I sell stuff in here? Yeah, I could probably sell stuff in here. But, um, I've been working secret job for about, uh, six months now. And, um, 
computer so bad. That looks so cool. It, it's been quite the um, experience uh, in those six months. Greetings, neighbor. Thank you kindly. Um, basically, I've talked about it partially on the channel before, but I haven't really gotten into the full uh, details. So, um, as I've talked about on the channel before, uh, your boy lives with, uh, disabilities. And, unfortunately, uh, part of that is that I need accommodations for my job. It, it's nothing ever really too major. It's it's never really anything uh, too demanding of a boss at a workplace. It's basically like your boy needs to sit for at l for a majority of the shift. So I'm gonna wear that. Uh, so that, you know, I can function the next day. It's not a hard disability to really manage, for me at least. Um, and I've gotten over the years from working uh, several different jobs really, really good about fighting for my, uh, you know, accommodations and disability because I've had to because I I don't know what it is with certain like bosses or uh, people who work in management but some of them can be a real fucking stick in the mud when it comes to uh, like accommodations and things of that nature and I don't truly understand why it's an issue this this might be just bias but it it doesn't seem like too big of an ask to just like sit instead of sanding but apparently at this job it was a very big ask because at least one of the managers would constantly give me crap about my chair, why my chair, like my chair being in the way, my chair being an like an obstruction, that they need room to work and that the chair's in the way. And I basically just, you know, I, I explained once how like, look, I need the chair. So, you know, back the fuck off. And I thought, you know, that's all I would need to do is basically explain to them what's going on, why I need it. And, you know, they'd eventually get off their high horse. They would not. They kept constantly talking about it and would, like, give me shit about using the chair. And I would try and tell them, like, you can't fucking do that. And I would fucking get sass back. Hmm. I need to give you a treat. Here is some wheat. Did they not accept my fucking gift? How dare they? Let's do this real quick just to get my energy back. And then head back outside. There we go. So yeah, that was one of the issues I uh, dealt with in this company. But another thing that kind of became a problem, especially for me as someone who uh, does have autism, 
uh, was as of recent, the staffing at this place has started to get like bad, but not unmanageable. Um, Mickey. Let's give you some crackers. You seem to really like those. Oh boy, that's nice. Hey there. So long for now. Yeah, let's keep beautifying this place while I tell the story. Um, it, it was something that was seemingly manageable by management. It was just something they kind of complained about, but never really, like, affected anything and until recently where basically um they just were giving breaks super late and of course you know i would plan things to do on my break like go to the restroom or uh you know take a breather with my noise canceling headphones so that i could relax a little bit you know, I, I made plans for those break times because they had been pretty consistent up until that point. And then all of a sudden, they just started getting later and later until it was like 40, like almost an hour late on multiple occasions and even like violating lunch law on a couple occasions. Which, again, I'm not mentioning the company, so they can't really give me shit for saying this. Uh, but yeah, they totally violated uh, California lunch law multiple times. And I never heard about management getting in trouble for it. Uh, so I would basically be sitting there, like, needing to go to the bathroom after getting on this, like, schedule of, like, okay, I can go to the bathroom around this time. And then having that yanked under me, I would start getting nervous and my anxiety would just keep building and building, wondering when or if I'm going to get my breaks. And I hated it. I hated it with every fiber of my being. Because that's, that's not right to do to a person. So the thing is, the protocol at this company, because we were like the sole people uh, at our like stores and stations, um, we would have to call management if we ever needed to like use the restroom or, uh, you know, do do things around um just just basically doing things around the store so we wouldn't really have the ability to just up and go at one of the stations uh at this place uh that was an option that was something that you could do. You could quickly go, like, run to the restroom. The uh, problem was... Uh, that, like, station was also a really, really far walk away. So it wasn't really practical... For me to uh, go to that station. Um, why is everything in sepia tone? Uh, did I accidentally break the game for a little bit? Okay, let's definitely get uh, these two up here as well. And then get the rest of my carrots planted. And since it's raining, they're already going to get uh, watered. So that's lovely. Oh, there's something uh, behind my house here. 
Oh, a little, like, clothing bag. How lovely. What was I on about before? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that was a thing that kind of pushed me as well. Was that uh, all, all my breaks were becoming further and further apart, which was increasingly becoming an issue. And whenever I tried to follow the policy, um, I would be waiting 30 to 45 minutes still. And every single time I would get this story from my boss. And it was one of those things where it's like, you know, same old song and dance. Where after a while of hearing, you know... someone talk about a thing you start to feel less and less empathy for them mostly because like you're, you're obviously showing that you don't see this as a high priority thing if you're really going to you know Fucking leave me to sit there as I'm like basically, you know, holding my bladder for dear life. So it's just another one of those things where I. It just sucked that. And also, um, this location where I was stationed uh, left a lot to be desired uh, for an autistic person as well, because uh, it was very noisy. There was constant... Uh, uh, there was just there was just constant noise always and that caused its own problems hello i couldn't have done better myself so eventually all of these just stacked up and stacked up and stacked up and I was getting more and more upset and angry at this job because it, it just got to the point where I just wasn't having that kind of fun anymore I wasn't having that enjoyment that uh most people shouldn't feel like should feel at jobs. Like it's not always going to be absolutely perfect. It's not always going to be great. But you should at least enjoy your time there. And I just wasn't anymore. So I put a plan into place where I was going to look for another job. I was actively seeking out another job. I did an interview quite recently and I thought it went well, but uh, the company still has not called me back. That is of no fault of their own. Uh, they're allowed to hire and not hire whoever they please. In the same breath, it, it kind of hurt. It, it kind of hurt that I wasn't hired on.
so I basically just resigned to like, look, I'll figure this out. I'll just, I'll just keep applying. So I did that. I kept applying. I kept applying, but only a few places were calling me back. And yesterday was kind of a precipice for me. Uh, I was at work, you know, doing my thing. And once again, management was late to getting me my break. And I, I kind of just sat there like, you know, what the hell? Why, why is this such a thing? Why, why is this still a thing that is happening? And I basically told myself, like, if this keeps going past a certain time, I, I need to get out of this place. Oh my goodness, I, I guess I need to, uh... Go drop some stuff up back at the house. Oh, no. And, you know, time was getting closer and closer. And, you know, I, I just was getting more and more upset. Because once again, I had to go use the restroom. So finally, um, I, I hit my last straw. Oh my god, is this going by Minecraft rules? Do I only have, like, so many uh, slots I can put in my chest? Also, how do I expand that storage? Because it looked like there was an option to expand it. Or expand my storage as well. Gross. 5,000 coins. Icky. Um, I started writing a text to my boss that I was going to send her. Basically uh, outlining my frustrations, saying like, look, this is becoming ridiculous. Th this isn't how you treat workers. Um... And frankly, like, I, I need to get out of here. I, I can't come back to this place anymore. And then, uh, luckily, one of the um, security people who work at this location uh, went by my booth. And at this point, I'm basically, like, full-on cross-legged trying to... You know, hold everything in. Which is, you know, making me feel so much better about things. So I ask this security guy, like, look. Favor to a buddy, a solid. Can you please watch this area? I hear someone singing. But I don't know from where. So I, I basically ask him, hey, can you watch over this place while I go run to the restroom? And he's like, you know what? I'm on break, but sure. Go on ahead because that's kind of BS. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. You know, thank you. Thank you for sticking. Thank you for doing this for me. So I run to the restroom uh, and run back. Basically didn't want to take up too much of this guy's break because honestly, I felt bad enough for disturbing his break. I didn't want to go further by also like, 
taking my dear sweet time to go do the thing. So I come back and my boss is coming up giving the security person shit. Because like, oh, where is he? What what was he doing? And he starts going like, well, he had to run to the restroom because you didn't get here fast enough. And I come up behind him. I'm like, yeah, he, he was watching my stand so I could actually use the restroom. And my boss go like goes into this whole rant thing she absolutely fucking loves doing. About, you know, how I'm a terrible employee and don't know the policies they didn't teach me. And I basically shut that down and said, you know what? I I've had enough. I'm done. I, I can't do this anymore. And she tried to defend herself by going like, well, there was someone else who started at the same time, so I had to give them their break and, you know, and I'm like, cool. But, you know, I I'm sitting here having to go and you're just fucking putzing about. So I, again, got the whole life story about how busy she is and how hard she works. And I get it. But it's like you're working so hard because everyone else is failing. You're not working hard because you want to. No, don't go away, blue puddle. I will catch you. Uh, choose an item to discard. Let's discard the oregano. We can get that later. Oh, we caught a bream. Okay, yeah, back to story time. I, ba I basically told them, you know, I, I can't do this anymore. I quit. And I said, I'll help you, you know, lock everything up here or whatever it is you want to do. And just to prove how asininely back assward this fucking job is. They fucking asked me to stay till the end of my shit. Like, okay, I get it. They need the people and they didn't want to, like, be inconvenienced, air quotes. Do the fuck lets an employee that just said they're done and want to quit continue to be at a cash register? Like, that's insane to me. That you would just you know, casually leave someone at the register after they just said they want to quit. So I begrudgingly did it because my thought process was, well, I'm not getting another check out of them. So I might as well get the full check for today. If they're going to be dumb and let me, you know, continue to work out my shift. Even my mom, when she was picking me up, was like, yeah, I didn't understand why you didn't ask me to come pick you up immediately. Because usually when you do that, like, they, you know, have a whole process behind it and have a whole, like, thing that you need to do after you quit. Which, funny enough, no job ever before has made me, has driven me to quit in this manner. Literally none. 
This is the first time ever in my decades of working that I've ever quit a job like this. It is actually insane. Good morning to you too, Goof. Even though it is actually the evening here. But yeah, um... So I guess moral of the story is I... I quit. And I don't plan on ever going back. Well, of course not, but you know what I mean. I, I don't want to go back to that place if that's how I'm going to get treated. Oh my god, is that a radio voice with the streamer mode? Because they couldn't use the other one? Ooh, gloves. So, what does that mean for all of you who, you know, watch my streams, consume my content, all that good good? Well, what it means is, you know, now I'm going to have more time for streaming, collabs, and all that kind of such, and I am going to be... uh trying to set those up because I want uh, some form of schedule while I'm trying to find a new position somewhere. Because that is something I'm going to have to do is find a job to replace the current one. That That's just going to be a thing I have to do. God damn it, I'm doing it too early. Okay, that should definitely give me... No, that hasn't given me dreamlike. Damn it, okay. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to look for uh, new opportunities. Uh, and that is going to suck. That is going to not be great. Uh, it, it's, it's hard enough where it is now to get a new job because a lot of places are, you know, filing false postings or just not hiring or just will outright refuse to hire disabled people but can't outright say it. You know who you are. But, uh... Okay, so that should be all the things for this quest. So yeah, that's something I'm going to have to work on as well. And I am going to be dedicating a lot of time to that because, frankly, I need to be. Um, I need I need a job. <laughs> uh, I, I do not make enough through streaming to justify just doing streaming for a while. Um, and I... This has always been a thing with me and money. 
I always feel bad asking for others like money or services. And in fact, when other people have offered to uh, pay for things for me in the past, I will say this. Uh, I have intentionally not mentioned it again so that they forget. Oh. So I, I, I really, really hate asking people for money. Uh, it's, it's just one of those things that does make me feel uncomfortable doing. Uh, oh my God, it's so pretty. And I'm guessing we can unlock these different dream worlds to head to to fix those as well. Oh my god, I'm so going to that one. I'm so going to the world of Ratatouille. I love Moana. And what was the other one that they mentioned? <gasps> Wally. I love those two. All my heart. But I want the Rat Boy. I want the Rat Boy. <sighs> wow, Rat Boy. I'm just going to say I'm a huge fan of everyone. Okay. Um, I'm going to dip for a second real quick to go grab something to drink. I will be right back because I just realized my can's getting kind of empty. <laughs> my can of soda. So I, I will be right back, everybody. All right, I am back. Hold on, let me... Oh, right, that button doesn't work anymore. I hold on, hold on, I'll... get back in square eventually. You're, you're gonna have to see this for a hot second. I'm sorry. There we go. It's just a funny little quirk with uh, VC face. Nothing else. Let's get back to this. Uh... Actually, no. First, let's minimize this. There we go. So I can actually see what's happening because OBS is failing in that regard. <laughs> Silly me. Of course you have. You're here. That's great. Sorry to cut the chit chat short, but I got to get moving. Dining room's filling up and most of my staff is sick. Plus, there's a food critic visiting tonight. I got to make a good impression. If he gives our food a bad review, it'll be a disaster. <laughs> uh, 
Hug critics are the worst. <laughs> Some sure, but every now and then you find one who really gets food and it can change your life. Uh -huh. Have you ever worked in the kitchen before? Um, I'm an okay chef myself. <laughs> well, luckily, I don't need you to do anything too fancy yet. Right now, I need you to wash dishes. Sure, I'll wash them. Thank you, and please hurry. I need them quickly. Thanks. All right, let's open the chest as well. We're getting something from that. Ooh. God damn it. Hamburger. All right, let's pick that up. So he needs me to wash dishes. So let's head on over to the sink here. Use your watering can to wash dirty dishes. Okay. Oh, I see. You know, this is not what I was expecting to use the watering can for. But I'm here for it, bestie. Uh, we'll, we'll just water the dishes clean. Th this is how you sanitarily clean dishes. You just pour water on them. Clean dish is fantastic. Thank you. Oh. Hey, as long as you're still here. How do you feel about cooking? Mm. Cooking is an art. I agree. The way the flavors sing when they go together, it's like music. Uh -huh. And when you craft a whole meal, it's like composing a symphony. <laughs> but just like art, it takes practice. Yeah. Well, let's get started. Great. We're preparing a couple dishes, one with fish, one with fruit. You'll find the ingredients you need around the yes, kitchen. Sir. Well, okay, we need fruit. God fucking damn it. Find a fish in Remy's kitchen and prepare any meal using it. Ugh. I'll need to come back here. I need to sell some shit at Goofy Stall. So yeah, we'll we'll head back here in a bit. Yeah, it said I can sell shit at Goofy's stall. Why is Merlin just running around like an absolute fucking madman? Look at him go. All right, Mr. Garshman, take my shit. Hey there. All right, so let's sell the gems, of course. Oh, multiple of a dish don't fucking stack. That's garbage. And we have enough of the stones. Oh, wait. Shysta. Okay, come on. That, that, that. All 20. And one of these. Let's sell that for a thousand. Oh, I can I don't even have to. God damn it. There we go. And we got some more shit in the village. And some things for the collection. Let's just clear that so I don't have to see it constantly. But yeah, to continue the story I was telling uh, before I had to BRB. Um, definitely crappy to have to leave a job like that. I've never had to do it before. And honestly, um, the fact that it, I was even driven to that point should be an indicator because I'm not usually a rage filled person in that way. I I don't usually get that upset over things. But this was this was just crossing the fucking line. <sighs> I I just couldn't take it anymore. So because of that, you're going to be seeing more streams and I'm also probably going to be on social media a little less to uh, focus on uh, you know finding a new position Okay, let's see. What can we make with fish? Um, 
Let's get some butter, oregano, basil. We only have five ingredients, so fish, oregano, basil. Fish, oregano, basil. I I'm trying to spitball something. Hmm. No, I already got butter as well. You know what? Let's grab some wheat. Worst case scenario, all this makes is a fish sandwich. Best case scenario, I actually make a new dish. I made a fish pie! Yo! Oh, it was literally just a fish. Literally, the herbs didn't even get used. Let's just let's just put some fish in a pot as well. Grilled fish. So now we get to talk to Remy again. Now, this is a perfect presentation. You really understand complementary flavors. Thanks. Let's see if we can do it again. Time with fruit. Okay. All right, so for fruit, the only one I really know is fruit salad. But let's definitely grab some apples. Um, let's grab some wheat as well. Some butter. So apple... Butter, wheat, and banana. God fucking damn it. Okay. If you're going to be an ass about it, I guess I'll drop the stones. Because I want to see if we can use the banana. Oh, I'm stuck on some shit. Okay. Okay. I, I just want to see what kind of dishes we can make. So let's do wheat, butter, milk, banamda, and apple. Best we can do is probably an apple pie. A banana pie. Okay, so apple pie is probably just apple, wheat, and butter. And just for funsies, five apples. Yeah, it just makes a fruit salad. Okay. Recipe involving fruit. Am I getting overly fancy with it? Yes, but it's because I can. I'm impressed. You definitely got talent, Solario. Clearly, you know your way around a kitchen. Evidence, your two dishes. But we need to hurry. The food critic is getting impatient. Are you ready to make something a little bit more complicated? I'm here to help. And I really appreciate that because I need you to make a three-course dinner. It'll be tonight's prime fisse. Or pre fisse. And hey, you can even design it. First, choose an appetizer, a hearty salad, or bell pepper puffs. Let's go with the... Let's go with the bell pepper puffs. That sounds a little more exciting. Okay, then you'll need a bell pepper, some cheese, and an egg. So cheese, egg. Oh, I can get them all three here. I'm just casually blind. Don't mind me. All right. Let's get rid of the flowers as well. So I can put a bell pepper in my inventory. Okay, so cheese, egg, bell pepper, cook. And we have bell pepper puffs. Oh, those actually look really good. Okay, so bell pepper puffs. Hello. 
Look at this appetizer you created. Look at this experience you've created. See, each flavor is unique, by, but the way you combine them creates something new. And it's not always about innovation. Sometimes you just evoke the past. Food can bring back memories. Ah. Yeah, like my family recipe. Exactly. Now, I want to make a dish that reminds people of something comforting. For our main course, we have pizza margarita or vegetarian casserole. I'm going to go with the pizza margarita. That's always a classic. Always loved. Excellent choice. Find the base recipe for pizza. It's here somewhere. Then use the spices to adjust the flavor so it's a pizza margarita. Thanks. <sighs> pizza margarita, if I remember correctly, if we're doing this right, is going to be cheese uh, for the mots. We need a tomato. Uh, for the sauce. Yeah, if we're going by the rules of this game. We will also need basil. And... I already have some wheat. Is that going to show here, though? No. Of course not, because that would be... Eat. Stop watering the floor. Let's just drop the wheat so I can pick up wheat because that makes sense. But it does ask me to find the cookbook in Remy's kitchen, which seems to be that one. I'm going to fucking stab something. You know what? I'm going to eat the crackers. Okay, improve the basic pizza recipe by adding some spices or herbs listed from the recipe in the book. Bonjour. So a pizza margarita would be... Wheat, tomato, and cheese is a basic pizza. For a pizza margarita, though, you need uh, basil. I don't think we need oregano. I think we just uh, need... Basil. Why the fuck did I get crackers? What the fuck? How the fuck did I get crackers? Okay. Let's grab oregano because... I'm going to fucking stab something. Why do I have this many carrot seeds? No. Sorry, Remy. I know I'm just dropping shit all over the place, but frankly, I don't have oregano space. So I've already got tomate. I just need the cheese. I am going to stab. I'm just going to pull a Skyrim and eat my way out of this problem. Okay, yeah, let's do it uh, this way. There we go. There we go, margarita pizza. And I'm betting you I didn't even need the oregano. Yeah, okay, it's just herb. So even if I did put oregano, it would have let me complete the recipe. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, give these items. That dish was perfect, but you're not done. The last course is dessert. Desserts are very important. They're the final taste the customer leaves with. If we don't offer fabulous desserts, the food critic is going to roast us. Okay. Banana pie or apple pie? Uh, let's do an apple pie. Okay, so for we already have the apple, so we don't need to add that to the inventory, but we need butter and wheat, I believe. Uh, we shouldn't need anything else, I don't believe. So we just need butter, apple, and wheat. To make an apple pie. There we go. Yes, nailed it. Awesome. Okay. So now back to Rembo. Give apple pie. Hmm. Hello. 
the dinner rush started. Order up. Someone wants a something salad. Shit, I missed it. Luckily, it'll be in the quest. Uh, I'll leave this order to you, but here's a quick end. Our ranch salad is made from lettuce, tomatoes, corn, bell pepper, and onion. When it's ready, put it on the serving hatch next to the door so it gets delivered to the customer. Okay, so ranch salad. I need you to remind me the ingredients. Uh, lettuce, tomato, corn, bell pepper, onions. So we need a bell pepper, corn, onion, tomato, and lettuce, I believe. There we go. And let's do this with the quickness. This seems like a really fancy, overly fancy salad, if I'm being quite frank, but it's a five star. And now we need to do the serving hatch next to the door. Where? Where is the serving hatch? There it is. Remy wants to talk to you. Go see him. Okay. The critic is ready for his main course, and of course, he ordered my speciality, the ratatouille. I'm in the middle of three other orders. Can you help? Prepare the perfect ratatouille. I've watched you cook. You can do this. It's vegetables and spices and memories. Go. Okay, vegetables, spices, and memories. So if I remember correctly, on a order of ratatouille, it's eggplant, zucchini. It's like cuttable vegetables. Uh, is cucumber in a ratatouille? <gasps> no, it's tomato. Mm, tom tomatoes? Tomatoes, is it? I don't know if it's tomatoes. Uh, but he also said spices. So, um, let's combine and pray. So, oregano, zucchini, eggplant, basil, and tomato. Please turn into a ratatouille. Fuck my life. Okay. What fucked it up? Okay, so I know we use the eggplant and the zucchini. Hmm. We also definitely need the tomato, since I think it's served in a tomato-based sauce. I know cucumber's not in it, and I know bell pepper's not in it. It's usually cut round f like veggies. <sighs> Shit, Remy, Remy, please give me the fucking recipe. Critics ready. Ratatouille is made with tomatoes, three different cooked vegetables, and spice. Okay. So it's not going to dock me if I use fucking bell pepper. That is good to know. So let's do tomato, oregano, zucchini, bell pepper, and eggplant. Even though bell pepper, I don't believe, is a traditional ratatouille, I believe you would be using squash. Are you motherfucking kidding me? You literally fucking said that it's motherfucker. <sighs> let's try this shit again. So tomato... Zucchini, eggplant. C cucumber? I don't know what the fuck you want from me. And let's try 
big. I'm gonna fucking end. Drop the fucking grilled veggie platter. Honestly, I don't need it. Uh, ba basil for the sauce. If this turns into a grilled veggie platter again, I'm going to fucking god. Fucking damn it. It's not a motherfucking ratatouille. I'm getting so fucking tilted over this shit. Okay, so he said seasoning three different types of veg. What the fuck other on onion? If it's onion, I'm going to fucking scream. Because right now it's not taking into account any of the other ingredients I'm putting in. It just keeps making a grilled veggie platter. Oh my god, fucking finally, it's a fucking ratatouille. Oh my god, the fucking third veggie was onion? For fucking what? The sauce? Hello. The food critic gave five stars to the ratatouille. What a relief. Thank you for help. You know, Solario, you are a very talented chef. Any chance you want to come work for me? I actually have a restaurant for you in my village. It would be a great new challenge. Hmm, I do love cooking challenges, and that might be a good time to do some research. You know what? I'll do it. I'll go to your village and help you with the restaurant. Wait, does this job offer come with housing? I can't sleep in the kitchen. Wouldn't be hygienic. I definitely need a house before I can go. Okay, so we're going to have to head back. Hold Press Y to access furniture to place in the house. So I'm going to want his house close to his restaurant. Okay, so basically choose him a house. Or I'm going to have a house chosen for me. Okay, so why? In furniture. There's a request from Ratman. To build. His house. Okay, I can't place it here. Unfortunate. Um, shyster. Can, can I place it like he, no there's a lamppost in the way um where can I put Remy's house where can I put oh in the meadow there's a ton of free space in the meadow okay so here might be no stop watering the ground please all right right off the path Right here. Okay, let's get his house built. Remy may be a wee chef, but he's got a refined taste and grand expectations. If you want a house that's up to his standard, you'll need to pay handsomely for it. Oh, I got 2,000. I'm down to 29, but I'm going to get that back. It's a house. Oh my god, it's a fucking tall house. Holy shit. I have a one-room shack. This motherfucker got a mansion. Holy shit. I'm gonna take a sippy sip real quick. Ah, yummy. Welcome, Remy. All right. So it seems like bringing new people also brings with it uh, other benefits. Oh, okay. There's the little man. Oh my god, I can take a snapshot. Yo, let's totally get. <laughs> uh, I had a bit of a bender last night, man. Over here. Hello. Wow, this place is beautiful and familiar. I almost feel like I've been here before. Weird. Well, no time to think about that now. I have a restaurant to open. 
All right, so I need to buy something from Scrooge's store. The problem is I've only got 29 fucking coins. Uh, so I probably need to go... Oh, I have a mission for selling meals. And besides, I don't fucking need it all. Um, so let's harvest all the veg. Let, let's harvest all the veg. Oh, right. I dropped it off at Remy's old place. Uh, I have to go back and go get those. I kind of dropped off my items to do cooking for the Remster. There we go. There are my carrot seeds. Someone is shooting off fireworks outside, and I do not understand why. It is not a holiday. It's no special event. Also, it just became dark. Like, just now. So, I truly do not understand... Where the f fuck... They are dealing with all this. So now we have Remster. And we have a couple new meals to build off of. And it seems like Merlin has a quest for us as well. I'm guessing for finishing up Remy's uh, stuff. But first I say let's... Um, cook down... Some food that I know the recipes for. Okay, yeah, my inventory has gotten so much lighter. Uh, that was a weird glitch. Okay. No problem. No problem at all. Okay, let's see... What you want, old man. Hello. Celario, you've returned, and none the worse for wear, I see. Why do you sound so surprised? Well, there may have been a slim chance you wouldn't come back, stuck in the realms with the other ahem forever. It was worth it. Ah, yes, the rewards of friendship are usually worth it. As always, say, nothing ventured, nothing gained. And now that you've returned safely, you knew that it won't happen. Now there's something else I want to talk to you about. You may have noticed the giant pillars scattered about the village. They're creepy. They That they may be, but it's time you understood what they are. We'll start with the one in the meadow. Follow me. Thank you. You're very kind. So I'm guessing he's talking about this bad boy. The pillar is just one of many scattered across the village. For as long as I can remember, the pillars protected the valley and kept it safe from dark magic, but no longer. I'm afraid the pillars are broken. How did they break? Well, you see, they're no longer whole. A vital piece of each has gone missing, and these pieces you'll need to find. Each pillar once contained an orb of virtue. Orbs are filled with powerful magic, and each one stood for a virtue around which the old ruler built a valley. These virtues are some of the most powerful kinds of magic there are. Trust, friendship, power, just name a few. Power is one of the virtues. Yes, power can be virtuous if it's, well why, if it's wielded wisely, which I'm afraid it rarely is. That's how we've ended up with such a magical mess on our hands. So what happened to the orbs? Well, our ruler disappeared, some were lost, some were forgotten, and others were stolen for their magic. I have to find the orbs uh, to, to restore the village's virtues. That's right, we can't forget about what's truly important. When these pillars are working, they'll help to remind us. Now, these pillars hold the orb of friendship, the most powerful orb in the village. The orb is now tangled in a night thorn, fiercer than any you've ever encountered before. Since the orb got stuck, the well in the meadow fell prey to the curse, and we can no longer use it. You must free the orb from the thorns by pr proving you have the power of friendship. I'll keep bringing more friends of old. Yes, yes, it's extremely important to get our friends back, but that isn't enough. We mustn't forgive out those we, who are already here trying to rebuild their lives. Small act of kindnesses go a long way. You know, like giving someone a gift just because you think they'd like it. Spending time together 
what do you modern kids call it hanging out? So talk to the villagers, get to know them. Most importantly, let them get to know you. Once you've understood this, the orb of friendship will be yours. Return to its rightful place. Curse will be lifted. Perfect. Have you ever considered being a squirrel? <laughs> Can you do that? I could. I th though I won't. Not now. I have other things to do. But still, encourage you to consider being a squirrel. Think about it. A squirrel's life is hazardous, downright dangerous. Almost all the world is larger than the creature, and a great portion wants to eat it. Now, what do you think we could learn from a squirrel? Uh, how to survive. Practical, important lesson indeed. When life is hard, we must find ways to carry on. Oh. So we need to reach level five. I couldn't have done better myself. Oh, so with this hangout session, he follows us. So apparently there's things we can like dig up throughout the village. with you now <laughs> lots to do lots to do all right let us give you the gift of a carrot <laughs> because i have a lot of these you're getting a, quite a few gifts of care actually that doesn't do much to that meter Actually, he probably likes gems more. Actually, no, that's probably Scrooge. I'm betting you Scrooge likes the gems more. Goofy, I know, likes uh, fish. So let's snag this rare one. piece of crap. There we go. Alright, have to wait for the screen shakes to click A, and we got a bream. Hey there, Solario. How you doing today? I'm great. That's fantastic. Say, I was just gonna do some cooking. Wanna join me? Sure, I'll help. Okie dokie. First, we have to gather the ingredients. We need fresh basil and oregano. They grow all over the plaza in the meadow. If you get some, I'll get the pots and pans together. Alright, so we need some basil and oregano. We find them in Peaceful Meadow and the plaza. So I'm guessing they're the little, like, sprigs of plants that are showing up everywhere. How the hell did I unlock a swimming pool from picking up a fl- Oh, never mind. Alright, we have another clothing item. Let's find out what the clothing item is, mainly because I don't want to fill up my inventory with useless crap. Ooh, performance sneakers. Lovely. You love to see it. Let's dig up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Merlin's over here. Is he not? Get up from your power nap, old man. We're working out. All right, we gained a new level and a bed. Oh my God, that's going to be so useful, probably. And we got a new recipe out of it. Let's frickin' go. Hello. So yeah, let's hang out another time. I tip my hat to you, though I, I prefer not to take it all. Oh my goodness, this man...
All right, so we have a new memory we just uh, got. Um, so it says here, I always thought this would be a nice place for a garden. What, this, this, like, torn down fucking thing? Oh, that looks to be basil, does it not? It is. There we go. So we just need to get oregano now as well. Which it said I should find in the plaza, which is up here. Oh, cool. Gems. I believe Scrooge likes gems. So if we give him a gem, he'll be pretty fucking happy about it. Oh, my God. Oh, we already got the oregano and the basil. Lovely. Let's, um... Let's eat a fish sandwich. And then let's go give Scrooge uh, the diamond. Oh, greetings, neighbor. Ah. Oh, never. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so I can't give that to him. Um, Goofy, Goofy wants fish. I bet you Goofy wants fish. How's it going? Goofy seems very much into fishing. So let's give him this bream. I like it. Great to see you, pal. Let's, let's give him a cooked fish. Okay, so I still need to find oregano, even though I have oregano. There we go. Okay, how much of it do I need? Alright. Oh, I need to get three of each. Okay. That's the holdup. Why, why do these characters just show up out of nowhere? It's on. It's a little terrifying. It's it's a little spooky. How, how they just show up out of nowhere. Okay. So there's our three oregano sprigs. We need three basil as well. Here's another basil. So we just need to find one more. Because these friendship quests are going to be an important way to just kind of level up that stat quickly. And if I'm being frank, I don't want to spend too much time trying to get everyone to level 5. Let's also get rid of this blight here. Okay... No, dang it. That would have been so nice. Ah, there's our third sprig. There we go. Okay. So that should be all of it. Also, I think we had a recipe book in here. Yeah, we do. Okay, so the recipe we learn is gonna be... Potato leek soup. Oh, that sounds fucking delicious right now, actually. I haven't had dinner yet. <laughs> so to be fair, everything sounds delicious right now. Oh boy, just imagine what we can cook with all these great ingredients. Let's make something everybody will love. A challenge. I love it. Yippee. Come on, let's cook. Okay, so. Cook a meal using basil or oregano. Well, I did just give you a fish, so unfortunately, I can't... Why the fuck are you in my kitchen? Uh, basil. And carrots? 
Oh, okay. That works. Mm-hmm, doesn't that smell good? Everybody's gonna want a plate. If you keep cooking like this, you'll be best friends with your neighbors in no time. There's nothing like sharing a meal together to make a neighborhood feel like a family. All right, so that should be level three with Goofy. Um, let's, let's give you a gift. Let's give you a gift, Goofy. Just because I need you at level three. All right, level three goof gives us. Your companion can find more items and while harvesting wild crops and fruits. So level three gives us a hook. Which I don't know what that does. Actually, let's throw uh, some of these bad boys in the chest. Damn it, I can't put anything more in there. Now it says one of my quests that I need to do is buy something from Scrooge's shop. So I'm going to find the cheapest thing because I've only got a hundred... Oh, wait. Perfect. Good day to you. Woo! Hey! Thank you kindly. All right, so that's the last oh, thing for his quest. All right. Oh, this allows us to uh Oh my goodness. He's going to have me promote his fucking shop. Hello. All right, let's have a convo with him. So we can get him to level two. We'll see which one we can get to level five the fastest. Scrooge looks like a little bit of a pushover for you, my boy. <sighs> we already have Mickey on gardening. We have... I think you would be a great miner. Good day to you. And I have something to give you. Let's give him a garnet. Oh, he seemed to really like that. The problem is I never really saw how to change my wardrobe. Oh, this is how. Can I change my hair? I can. Okay, perfect. How do I get it closer to that yellow, though? I, ge I guess that's closer? Okay. Time to be a walking billboard. Yay. Let's also get as much uh, starlight as we can. Ugh, excuse me. 
Also, just scroll through that real quick. Let, let, let me leave, Scrooge. Scrooge, I need you to let me leave. Uh, let's see. Quests. Show Scrooge my outfit. Okay, so I need to show Scrooge the outfit. Also, while we're here, actually... So let's do a custom design. Um, I'm kind of wearing a polo. Oh, so this allows me to add like motifs to this. I see. So I could technically, uh, so I do need that one for now. Let's put the red flannel on top of it. Match it with that. I think we're going to stick... With that, neckwear, nothing, earrings, nothing. Let's put on some glasses. And just because we're that level of Disney nerd. You might not win any awards on the runway, but you'll do fine for my purpose. Now, what are you standing around here for? I already know about my shop. You got to walk around the village about the word. While you're out there, would you get some softwood and come back here? I have to craft some signs. Bye -bye oh, right. I can't go back there. I have to go out here. So we need to get a uh, softwood. So that's hardwood. We need softwood, which is just like the branches that I see like everywhere. Okay. Let's go collect some branches. I have been kind of neglecting cleaning those up. So this is kind of going to be a little cleanup journey for me, I guess. Actually, before we get too far with that, let's plant all of our carrots here. It's nice how I can just kind of hold this down and get the kind of same effect of, uh, like, just planting multiple so that I don't have to do this for every single fucking plot. That part is kind of nice. Now, watering can. Let's get these all watered. I swear to God I'm getting rid of these barrels eventually. Now let's just go back to that so it's out of my hand. And I don't just accidentally water the ground every five seconds. That wouldn't be good. That would not be good at all. Oh, we're done with the softwood. Lovely. So we could just go back to Scrooge. We, we can just go back to where the fuck is the duck. There the fuck is the duck. Oh, Brilliant, neighbor. now you've gathered the wood. We can craft the signs. You can use my crafting station in the shop if you'd like to craft a couple signs and place them throughout the valley so others know where the shop is. Bye 
Okay, so crafting station, pick a recipe, blah, blah, blah. Got it. Ooh, a chest would be quite nice. Yeah, let's get some extra dream light out of that. Now we need a Scrooge McDuck store sign. The question is how many of these we need. We need four of them. Okay, yeah, let's just do that. Make my life a little easier, you know. Not completely, uh... Fuck myself over. Yeah, let's do it that way. Um, yeah, let's do two of those and two of these. There we go. So place the store signs around the village. Now, hopefully Scrooge is paying me for this. You know, this this is free promotion. All right. So his request is the store signs. So let's put one there. Let's put one Like over here. By the way, this game is so much easier on controller. Let's add one over here. And let's do another one down here in the meadows. There we go. Yeah, so I don't have to go too far. And then we can go back to old Scroogey boy. And I get his shit done. I, it's working. Our hard work is paying off. The shop's been busy. We made a good team, don't we? Happy to help. Well, if you keep going the way you are, one day you could make a fortune as big as mine. Here's a little something to hang in your house. Is recognition... Recognizing... Words. Now, just one more thing to do. Let's give the front to shop a wee bit of polish, just enough to say, uh, we have everything you need. Hmm, that's a bit modest, isn't it? But maybe that's just the ticket. Too much extravagance could scare the folks in the village away. <sighs> All right, I do have a couple flowers back at the house. So we need Dandelion and Purple Rising Penstemon. Let us see. Do I have that at my home? No, we don't have purple. Damn it. And the only white we have is Daisy. How utterly unfortunate. Oh my god, everyone has a new quest. The thing is, though, I think for today, it is time to call it. Um, I am loving this game, oh my goodness. Uh, but I, I think it is time to call it for today. Uh, again, this is not a usual stream day for me. So I'm not really used to streaming for long hours today. And I've got another couple streams planned for the week. 
So, uh, I def I definitely need to uh, moderate my time. Um, tomorrow, on uh, Wednesday, I will be playing some Power Wash Sim and probably talking your ear off then as well. <laughs> And let us find someone to raid. Oh my goodness, I was watching uh, Kaz before this, so I'm just staring at myself. Lovely. Let us see who is on right now. Oh, that is a friendo. I have not... Uh bothered in a hot second. Actually, let me refresh this to make sure those numbers are correct, because I saw something that uh, is not very usual. And I just want to see. OK, yeah, that's what I thought. I thought for a hot second there was a uh, That there was someone just like chilling at 12 viewers who is like a big inspiration to me and did something wonderful for the channel. So I would kind I would kindly give back to them with a raid. But uh, for now, I think we should raid into a different friendo of mine. Uh, let me get that all set up. on my clickety clackety keyboard let's bug cozy august who is playing a little bit of pokemon legend arceus uh usually i tune in for her uh ff11 streams because i'm kind of interested in trying that game as well uh because i already play ff14 moving on to the other mmo that they made is kind of an easy jump uh let's hit august with an old classic just for funsies because you know i am still sally after all uh so let's hit let's hit august with that mostly because i think it would be fun uh but for tonight I do have to say the tavern is closed. <laughs> you don't gotta go, but you can't stay here. You know the drill. I'll see you tomorrow with some power wash sim, everybody. All right. Doodaloo. Bye-bye. <laughs>